This is Hayes Q Jones. Your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, welcome back. Make yourself at home. You know the routine. This week, or this, this week's video, actually brings me to Plant City. Actually, I shot this video right before Thanksgiving. So, just want to show you what I picked up there. Got some really good goodies there. As you see, my son and Shaka are setting up the Christmas tree. Look before I get into the video. Not only do I collect videos, yeah, I'm a goofy motherfucker. I actually like to watch them. Watch them excessively when I have the time. I have more movies than time, unfortunately. Hopefully one day I can actually equal that out. But I like to share with you some of the things that I, I watch on a weekly basis. I like to kick it off with a Dollar Tree pick. Wolves. This is a 2014 Canadian low budget Life and Corp, Life and Corp, Life and Corp, Werewolf, Werewolf movie. It has, what's that guy's name? Steve McHattie. You've seen him in a lot of horror pictures, drama, suspense. Probably the most recognizable face would be Jason Momoa. You know, Aquaman, uh, Lisa Bonet's husband, bitch, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Nevertheless, interesting movie, Dollar Tree Pickup. is it almost has a Lost Boys feel, except for werewolves. Decent plot, little twist at the end. And it's a fun, it's a fun werewolf movie. Nothing monumental as far as horror movies though, but a decent buy. Get the opportunity at your local Dollar Tree. Probably can't get it for a buck now, or you might be able to get a buck until the end of the year. Next year, I think it's going to be a buck twenty-five. My next pick is also another Dollar Tree pick, Uncanny, and this has a real is it Ex Machina, Ex Machina, the artificial intelligence movie. Oddly enough, these both came out in two thousand and fifteen. Uncanny is about this recluse, this genius who is being interviewed by a reporter about his new artificial intelligent creation. It's a psychological sci-fi suspense thriller, thriller, low budget. I actually like the plot better than El Machina, Ex Machina. About 39 minutes into the movie, I actually, because I actually wrote this down, 39 minutes and 8 seconds, I'm like, is this movie going there? And, again, I don't do spoilers, so I'm not going to say what there is, but I like the storyline, I like the ending better than Ex Machina. Ex Machina aesthetically looks like a better film, because it wasn't low budget, more money put into it, so the picture quality looks better. But the actual storyline, Uncanny does it for me. You also have a guest appearance from Rain Wilson from The Office. And it's, it's very clever. It's a very clever movie to me. Get the opportunity. Check it out at Dollar Tree. And if you do get this movie, watch it to the very end. Uncanny. Third pick is another Dollar Tree pick. This is a horror film very bizarre Antrim the deadliest film ever made uh, the the intro to the movie was dope as hell it's a documentary style intro giving the urban legend behind this movie so the, the intro really pulls you in because it's like, okay, this movie is supposed to be cursed. People who watch this movie have actually died. I don't know if the docu is actually real or not, but it's real enough to pull you in. Once you actually watch the movie, it's really bizarre. It actually looks like one of those experimental type movies where you have 
unrelated strange things spliced into the movie. If you're squeamish about <laughs> certain things, don't watch this movie. There are certain parts of the movie I can't unsee that I wish I can wish I could unsee. I'll just say there's this part dealing with necrophilia and bestiality, and I'll <laughs> leave it at that. Very bizarre movie. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say about it. Antrim. If you like really bizarre, bizarre, bizarre type shit, Antrim might be the movie for you. Check it out, your Dollar Tree. For my last pick on the week, I'm going to end this on a very positive, family-friendly movie, especially after the Antrim shit. That was really bizarre. But... Very good movie, HBO's King Richard. My whole family, my 12-year-old son, my wife and I watched this. I think we started watching it like 12 midnight Friday and just got into it. Excellent story about Venus and Serena Williams' father, Richard Williams. Um, street smart individual from the South going against the mainstream and professional and basically semi-professional tennis for women. Powerful story about a father's drive to get his daughters and his family out of a not so great situation, living in Compton, California and low income area. Very powerful story. Will Smith did a, a decent job. I'm a little spoiled by seeing biopic pictures, for example, Ray with Jamie Foxx and Malcolm X with Denzel Washington. I'm used to hearing, watching, I'm not used to, but for me to be blown away by one of those biography, biography films, I like to see those kind of performances where you can barely distinguish the actual real person from the actor. At certain times watching Ray, you can distinguish between Jamie Foxx and Ray Charles, same through Malcolm X and Denzel. I've heard um, Richard Williams, Will Smith did a good job. And I understand if he didn't want to go spot on with the characterization of Richard Williams or the imitation of Richard Williams. So, excellent movie. Really enjoyed it. Very powerful, good movie. King Richard. So that's what I've seen for the week. Without further ado, you know the routine, sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this video. While my son and wife finish putting up the Christmas tree, you're probably saying, what are you doing? I'm probably making this video. Yes, uh, back at Pong King, I was actually editing one of my videos and I was like, kiss my wrist. I missed the movie. So I'm going back seeing if it's there. I uh, found exactly what I was looking for, slip cover and all, and actually found another movie. I don't know if they just added that one or I overlooked that one too. So it was worth coming back for. Not to go to work is actually Thursday morning. I'd be at work at 10. So. Talk to you guys in a little bit. It is a nice, beautiful 60 degree, 60 degree Saturday 
and Plant City. You can't see the sign, Plant City Plaza at Big Lot. Gonna hit up Big Lots. Then right across there is Value Pond. I saw a Dollar Tree here on the way. Then go back to the Black Cave and see how everything shakes out.
didn't have any luck in big lots. I had some, a cool selection, but nothing that I needed. Gonna check out Value Pond across the way, Dollar Tree and head back. Enjoy some of this nice cool weather with a movie. Able to pick up a couple movies here at Value City. We got the Karma Boy Wonder here, R2B2 with me. Pick a couple more stops and heading back to Black Ape.
Black Cave. Back of the Black Cave. We are back of the Black Cave. Just walk, watching Shaka wake up from his mid-morning nap. But we have what I picked up at the middle of the week at, at Pawn King, which I forgot to pick up last week. We have Value Pawn of Plant City. And over here we have Dollar Tree from Plant City. But before I get into that, I'm going to get into what I picked up off eBay and Amazon. I'm going to kick it off with The Watcher in the Woods. I actually saw this on Movie Edge. He picked this up. He's a member of the Disney Exclusive Club or the Disney Video Club. And I hadn't seen this since I was a kid. Not one of Disney's best movies, but it is interesting. It is entertaining. Uh, one of Betty Davis's last movies. I'm not sure what her last movie actually was, but I know this is toward the end of her career. So, Disney exclusive Watcher in the Woods on Blu ray. Next, for my 3D pick of the week, Wolfhound. I actually saw this on eBay for a reasonable price. Um, I'm guessing this is. Maybe werewolf, maybe not positive. Uh, looks like maybe medieval type of action wolfhound in 3D. And it's a, an import, so they'll have all these strange distributors, Centaur or Universal Film, whichever that is, distributor wolfhound in 3D. Another eBay, this is eBay auction or eBay discount. Uh, 3D triple feature, Galapagos 3D, Into the Deep, which is not the same as the IMAX one. There's another one, IMAX one's like several IMAX ones. And Museum, excuse me, mu uh, Mummies in 3D, Secrets of the Pharaoh. And this is a Samsung exclusive. And it's all on one disc though. So these are my eBay, Amazon picks for the week. Now let's get to what I picked up at Pong King. I'm going to kick it off with what I actually purchased at the middle of the week from Pong King. If I get shocked off of this. I actually went back to Pawn King because I was actually editing one of the videos I did last week and realized I missed the video and when I went back see I missed I don't know if they added this or I missed this one also but it's Clive Owens Naomi Watts and the International I've seen this before it's a little slow I never saw all of it for some reason I keep thinking um, Naomi Watts is Tom Cruise's uh, ex-wife Nicole Kidman but I haven't seen this in a while. Probably give this another shot. It's a slow, suspense thriller type movie. Columbia Pictures release, The International. And the movie I actually went back for is 47, 47 Meters Down Uncaged. I've seen this streaming before. Matter of fact, this is Sistine Stallone, so I think that's Sylvester Stallone's daughters in here. Not quite as good as the first Uncaged, but if you like shark movies, like see people get devoured by sharks, stupid people get devoured by sharks, you like this. 47 meters down, Uncaged, with a nice slip cover, and this is a Lionsgate release. Got the Blu-ray and the DVD. 47 meters down, Uncaged. I'll check to see if the code is good. This is what I picked up at Pawn King. And we'll go to what I picked up at Dollar Tree in Plant City. A Rough Draft from the best-selling author of Night Watch, which is a really bizarre Russian fantasy sci-fi movie. Very bizarre, but very interesting. Didn't realize this was Russian until I actually scanned it in. I didn't actually scan it, I had to put it in manually and it came up with some Russian name. 
but it looks pretty interesting. It's a fantasy film, a rough draft, and this is a high octane release. The other Dollar Tree pickup that I didn't scan it off, so I had to put this in. Assassin's Target. For some reason, when I scanned it in, it came in under the name is The Vibe. So it looks like a sci-fi, sci-fi, well, no, not sci-fi, an assassin action film. Assassin's Target. So we'll pick these up at Dollar Tree in Plant City. And what I took up that value pawn. First of all, I haven't seen this. I've, I've seen the title. I don't think I've seen any trailers. Cramps, Chris Hemsworth, aka Thor of Marvel. Uh, the classified true story of the horse soldiers. On September 11th, 2001, the world of Washington and terror. On September 12th, 2001, they volunteered to fight. It's a Warner Brothers release. And paid too much for all these at Value Pond, so not a bad deal. The DVD and the Blu ray, rather plain. Shame on you, Warner Brothers, can do better than that. 12 strong. Shocker just loves being on top of these. Next one, actually I've seen this before. I think it was on Netflix, I believe. Tony Ja. Um, I'm not familiar with Eco Uis. Tiger Chen. I think he was in a movie with Keanu Reeves, I believe. I can't think of it. I think Tai Chi or something like Tai Chi Tiger or something. Uh, Selena Jade, not familiar with Scott Atkins, the famous B action hero. Michael Bisbane of the UFC. I believe he was the light heavyweight championship for like one fight. Then he fought GSP, GSP, I think he knocked his ass out. Uh, Michael J. White and Gija Banin, I believe. Triple threat. And this is a Well Go USA release. And again, they make pretty decent action films, usually of the Asian genre, Asian action genre. Nice artwork on the DVD. The DVD, art, the DVD artwork looks better than the Blu-ray artwork. But Triple Threat. Next. The Hurricane Heist. I believe I saw this also on Netflix. The Fast and Furious, from the producers of Fast and Furious. And I believe this is pretty much like it sounds like a bank heist doing during a hurricane. So, fun movie. It's the Lionsgate release. And it's another hurricane movie I just can't think of right now. This kind of reminds me of. But it basically take a, a hurricane movie and a bank, rob bank robbing movie, put it together, and you have the hurricane heist. Yeah, let me have it. Last one, Sam Yeager, Adrian Palicki, and Michael J. White again, SWAT Under Siege. And this is a Sony release. And this is, I guess, you can call lo loose related to the original SWAT with LL Cool J, Samuel Jackson, uh, Michelle Rodriguez. And I can't think of some other actors around there though. But this is my pickup for the week. This is Value Pawn, Dollar Tree, Pawn King, and eBay and Amazon. But give me a second, let me put this away. You see, Shaka just chilling there doing what Shaka does. Now I'll get you guys on your way. Give me a second. For some reason, I forgot to show you the disc work on a rough draft from High Octane from Dollar Tree, as well as the artwork on Assassin, which matches the cover artwork also. Oh, my shotgun just biting the shit out of me. Don't play, don't play. Ah, everything is scanned into my CLZ movies app. That's he is in Charlie, L's in Lima. Season Zebra. These three I actually had to put in manually. And let's finish this up.
you have everything laid out, ready to be put back in its proper place. As usual, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me in the Karma Boy Wonder R2B2 and looking at movies. If you haven't subscribed yet and you made it this far, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. It doesn't hurt. You help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. If nothing else, give me the big thumbs up. Other than that, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Everyone be safe. Peace.